What's going on guys, Coach Luca here. So what I'm gonna do uh, right now is take you almost through a recovery kind of uh, mobility slash flow. I'm gonna talk you guys through it as well. Uh, sometimes I'm gonna shout a little bit more, but this might be something that, you know, I think sometimes it's good to, to, to talk through, but on a day where, uh, you know, I'm either doing some slow steady state cardio to work in my, like my kind of aerobic threshold, but this is what will make me feel good. I might do it for 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I mean, if, even if I have 10, I might do it, but, this will go, I'm, I'm gonna kinda, uh, I, I know the idea of what I wanna do, uh, but I'm gonna kinda just go with the flow too. Just like working on areas that are a little bit beat up or I need to loosen up. And uh, like I said, it's a combination of different kind of methods and whatnot. So I'm just gonna take you guys through it. Uh, I'm gonna talk through some stuff. Sometimes I'll shut up because I'll do the drill. Okay, so we're gonna start with just showing love to and like some homage to our neck. We're gonna do a whole bunch of neck drills. So first of all, we're gonna do chin tucks. Now if I watch, you watch me from the side, it's not a forward head reach, it's a chin tuck. I'm gonna bite down on my teeth. And I won't always go for the lot amount of reps right now. Like I said, I'm kind of working, showing you guys this, but let's say we're gonna hit that for 10. Okay, then we're gonna go side to side. Same thing, we got core engaged. We're not letting the rest of the body kind of guide us. I, I like to go long fingers on this. So my eyes are gonna guide the neck. Once the win. I, I won't always do as many reps as I might do if I was doing this at home or as a recovery modality. And this will also give you feedback, right? Like my left trap is tight, which is kind of always a, a, a thing, okay? So I'm going with my eyes. Usually if I'm tight somewhere, I'm gonna spend some time there and, and breathe through it. Now we're gonna go ear to shoulder, okay? So I'm gonna go ear to shoulder, and when I do this, once again, try not to tilt, try not to, right? I'm gonna go to the side, and then usually move my neck to find that line of tension, okay? That left side is usually always a lot tighter. Like I said, don't crank it. Okay, get to that end range. Trying to get that ear to the shoulder. Now, if I'm really, really, like I said, if I'm having a lot of tightness, what I'll do a lot of times is put that hand behind and pull it into a stretch. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna push my head lightly and start ramping up a little bit against my hand to create some tension for five, four, three, two, one, and relax and go a little bit deeper into that stretch. Like I said, be gentle here, and I'm gonna push that head against the hand again, ramping it up, not crazy tension, just some tension. You're gonna get some tension in that line and that stretch, and relax and maybe do one more, and just hang out there and breathe, and slowly come out of it. Okay, I'm doing it on the other side. Now this is my way tighter side. So this other side is not gonna be, you'll see it gets way more range of motion right off the bat. But still, I'm gonna get to that part where I have some tension. I'm gonna push my head against my hand. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, go a little bit deeper into that stretch. And again, five, push, four, three, two, one and relax and go a little bit deeper into the stretch and slowly coming out of it. And sometimes I might do that for multiple reps. Right now we're gonna draw circles with our chin. So we're gonna go chin to chest, chin to shoulder, chin to ceiling, other shoulder. And if you get a, a line of tension here, go slow. Right, so some, something's tighter. And some more time there. Like I said, you could just work on, on this if that's a trouble area. Like I said, this will make your shoulders feel better. Because like I said, it's all nice and connected. Okay, from there we're gonna go work on some shoulder, shoulder blade cards. So, if you look at me from the front, instead of keeping my hands forward, I'm gonna put them at a 45 degree angle. And then glutes engaged, abs engaged. I'm going to 
reach forward with just my shoulder blades, right? Reach, elevate the shrug, pull them back, and down into my pocket. All right, so remember, I'm trying to not move anything apart from those shoulder blades. And they might be very, very icky and not get a lot of movement, right? So I, I do work on this, so you might get a lot less, and that's okay. That's why we're working. Just the shoulder blades, reaching forward, up, back, down, forward, up, back, down. Let's go the other way around. Here's the thing, like sometimes if we're working with clients, you know, we might spend a lot of time on this, <sighs> working these cars, and, and like I said, doing a bunch of different drills here. But right now we're just trying to get some of this stuff loose. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick one with my shoulder cars, which means I'm gonna engage everything, abs on, thumb up, so if you watch me from the side, I'm gonna go up as far as I can until I can't go any further. There's a block. I'm going to start internally rotating my hand. So that's, you guys can see my hand. I'm not twisting my body, so it's just my shoulders. And I continue to rotate all the way through. You might get some glitch, little snap, crack, won't pop. And I'm finishing in this position. And I'm going to go back until I can't get anymore, so I feel that block. Now I'm going to start externally rotating. So if you look at me from the front, I come back to the front and down. And I'd usually do more reps than this, but I'm gonna do one on each side. So starting here, start internally rotating, drawing that circle. Try to get to the vast end range as my elbow's locked out, so I'm not compensating. As far back, continue to internally rotate. And now I'm going backwards until I can't go anymore. Start externally rotating, back to the front and back down. And just shaking it off for a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go thoracic rotation. So thumbs into the chest. I'm gonna lock my hips in. So I almost wanna torque the floor, squeeze my butt. Abs are on. Now I'm gonna exhale. Rotate as much as I can. Point that hand, other side. Usually you're gonna have one side that's tighter. Make sure you exhale as you're rotating. Cause that gets the air out of the thorax and allows you to rotate further. Okay, now we're gonna do a spinal roll standing. So this is like some Steve Maxwell stuff that I really enjoyed. I'm gonna show you guys from the side because that way it's gonna be easier to see. So imagine that from the top down, I'm gonna start curving my spine vertebrae by vertebrae. And I usually like to just touch different vertebrae and then just roll out of it and relax here at the bottom. And now for my low back, I'm gonna start extending and rolling out all the way to the top. So I'm thinking about every one of my vertebrae kind of Collapsing, flexing, rolling, exhale. And then here at the bottom, like shifting the hips left to right. So if you watch me from this side, left to right, just kind of opening things up. And now I'm gonna extend back up. Let's do one more. Rolling and extending back up. And I like this drill that like same thing I learned is from Steve Maxwell, where imagine I'm gonna roll to the side, I'm gonna turn to the side, I'm gonna drop down, and I'm gonna draw a rainbow all the way to the other side and come back up. And again. And I'm exhaling everything out, inhale. Go this way. Let's do one more. And standing back up. And like I said, this just feels good. And I'm, I'm kind of peeking, because like I said, I wanted to get some stuff in 
with you guys so you know. So we're going to go into this child's pose position, hand right in the middle. This elbow comes behind, and we're going to just drill that thoracic extension, rotation. I'm going to hit that for about six to eight. Got some nice snap, crack on pop in there. I love that. Let's do one more. Other side. Now I'm going to lay it out. I'm going to do a couple of different things. I'm going to start with a scorpion. So I'm going to bring my arms out. I'm going to lift this leg up, curl it, and then I'm going to stomp it down, bring this up, and so I'm going to open that hip up, and I get a little bit of that chest stretch. But I'm really trying to drive that knee out. And I'm coming back. Other side. Sometimes we get some natural pops in there that feel great. I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna do black burn. So I'm gonna get my hands on my, the low of my back, relax my elbows. Then I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades, lift my hands and start extending my arms and really externally kind of like getting that shoulder through the full range of motion behind my head and elbows come down. Again, squeeze my shoulder blades, extend, start rotating internally as far as I can. Get as much range as you can and relax. Squeeze. This has to be slow and controlled and not rushed. So I'm gonna just do like two full, although usually I do more than that. I'm gonna go back into my child's pose position, but now we're gonna start going into the spinal roll. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drive my hips up. And what I love about this is pushing the ground away and then almost stepping, right? So we're gonna open up calves, Achilles, hammy, and you can kind of do it faster or if you got a side that's tighter, you can really drive into that, shift that hip a little bit, open up those obliques. Notice I'm, I'm, I'm adding some twist in there too because that's opening up lats, obliques. And now I'm going to spinal roll forward. And I actually like to go a little over the wrist so I'm getting some of that forearm stretch here too. Once you're in that position, relax your hips. Getting some forearm stretch, shift from left to right. Really getting that big stretch. You can do some more neck mobility here. Or should I say just get some range of motion. Now I'm gonna tuck my chin back in, round, go back, and knees down back into that child's pose position. Once I'm here, notice once again, I'm shifting, I'm opening stuff up. This is a very safe position, it feels great. And again, buckles up, pushing back. <clears throat> this time around, I can get a little more range. <sighs> Push, hold. Like I said, shift the hips if you need to. Other side, shift. And you'll really know which one, you know, is tighter and to work on more. And I'm gonna roll out of that. <sighs> Same thing, I want to get a little more lean, wrists, I can push my hands into the ground and get some more tension there and stretch there. I can also open my hips up and push one side, other side, and I'm going to roll back. Okay, from this position now, I'm going to do two things. So we're going to go from to here to Spider-Man position elbow back. I'm driving that heel back, 
driving that elbow back to that wall and looking at it. Hand down, push back into that same position, wiggle the hips a little bit, other side, drive. Punch that heel out, push this knee forward, drive that elbow back. And do the same thing. This time around, I'm going to bring my knee down, elbows in, now I'm going to reach as much as I can. I'm reaching, 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 getting that shoulder blade out. <sighs> Big circle. Driving back in. Now I'm getting that glute stretch. Notice how I'm dropping lower. Okay, sit back into it. <sighs> Other side. <sighs> Reach. <sighs> and dropping low. <sighs> okay, we're going back. Now check this out, I'm gonna go back into my Spider-Man position, but from this position now, I'm going to go into a shin box, okay? Now you're gonna see me from the other side, I'm gonna switch my shin box, and go back into my Spider-Man lunge position. Let's do one more. Now here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it towards you guys so that you can see that shin box position, okay? So you're going to be nice and tall. So first what we're going to do is we're going to do some activation. So we're nice and tall, remember, like somebody's pulling by a string. I'm going to lift this leg up, I'm going to try to lift it from my glute here, right? Lift it, punch it forward, drive that heel, get a hamstring stretch, and then slowly bring it back as far back as I can, let it ho hover, keep the core engage, control down. Okay, and then I'm gonna switch, and you can switch with your hands back, support, or you can do it without. <sighs> Same thing on the other side. Lift, <sighs> punch out, <sighs> slowly bring it back. <sighs> I'm gonna switch again. But now we're gonna go into a tripod. So I'm gonna drive up, Pushing his shoelace into the ground and reach over. Hold that position, keep breathing. Control it back down. And other side. Shoelace down into the ground and reach. I'm gonna switch up again, and we're gonna go back into our Spider-Man position. So I'm gonna hop into this, okay? Now, from this position, I'm gonna drive back, single leg downward dog, and do this scorpion. When I'm trying, I'm pushing the hands into the ground, but I'm opening up and trying to get that heel to the ground. Foot comes back up, other side. Since we're in this position, we're going to combo it. And again. Sense ourselves back into the squat to stand position. So once we're here, chest nice and tall, hips go up in the air. I throw that big stretch. I pull myself down and I'm gonna walk myself out. Walk myself back and go straight into this bridge position. Drive up and reach. Come back down to the side. Walk myself back in. And again, reset. Pull 
myself back down. Come back up and we're gonna do some standing active adductor work. So I'm gonna go side, overhead position, glide across, glide back, come up, switch sides. One more. And we're going to finish off with this combo that I love that's activation based. So we're going to go, I'm going to give you a nice angle here. Knee drives up past 90 and I'm actively driving it as far as I can, keeping that back knee locked out. Then I'm gonna slowly go back into an RDL position, drive that heel out, feel that stretch. Get that balance, glutes firing. I'm gonna come back up. Keep pushing into the ground. And one more time. drive up and switch it up. And a lot of times I'll do that for time. <sighs> drive that knee up, lock out that back, the back leg, think tall. <sighs> Hold for a couple seconds, feel the stretch, and come back out of it. I don't know if you guys can see, but like, it is on a little on the warmer side, but I'm sweating. All right, so that's probably about 20 plus minutes. And with me explaining some drills, I might go a little bit faster without talking, right? I'd probably do some more reps on each, on each one of these. But this is a great example, just kind of like in real time, if I took 25 minutes to do, <laughs> you, you guys probably saw the camera flicking in and out because uh, battery died, but the point being is that this is a recovery. Like I feel so much better. Things that were tight are not tight anymore. You're getting a little sweat going on. If I had my heart rate monitor on, I'd probably be in that 130 to 140 beats per minute uh, zone, which is working my aerob aerobic threshold. So it becomes this recovery cardio, but we're actually working on things that matter, which was, you know, obviously mobility, some stability drills, even some pails, pails and rails type stuff. There's a lot of other things that I could have thrown in there from pigeons to you name it. But this gives you a good idea of how this may look like on, on, as part of the recovery day or a feel-good routine in the morning, maybe that's 10 minutes long. So try to take that. Let me know if you got any questions. If you'd like to see more of these, I'll be more than happy to shoot them. Coach Lucas out. Peace.